start. So welcome everyone to this uh, webinar. Uh, today we're going to have a low vision webinar like we have every Wednesday. Uh, the title of today's uh, webinar is how to choose a foldable CCTV. I'm going to be co-hosting this webinar today with Samuel Adler. I'm going to be introducing him to you uh, in a few seconds. So the objectives of this presentation will be to uh, how to recognize your needs for portability when choosing a CCTV, how to identify your needs for flexibility, and how to evaluate your needs for communication. During this presentation, we will present the Reveal 16, the Reveal 16i, and the Connect 12. So here we are. Just gonna set up my uh, screen. Okay, so welcome everyone. Uh, today I am going to be co-hosting this webinar with Samuel Adler. Samuel is our regional account manager for Southeastern US. Samuel, do you wanna say hi? I sure do. Hi, everyone. Thank you for joining us. It's a pleasure to be here. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. So Samuel has been with Humanware for quite a few years. Uh, he used to be uh, the low vision product uh, manager uh, like I am right now. And uh, now he's working uh, with um, the sales team in the United States. I call him from times to times when uh, we do R&D. Uh, because Samuel has a low vision, so he can help me with uh, our choices. And he is also uh, on the field quite a bit. So he has some uh, user case that he wants to share with me in order to help us uh, develop our uh, product. So do you want to talk about yourself a little bit? I sure can. I sure can. Thank you. Um, so yeah, I uh, normally am based in uh, Orlando, Florida, where it's nice and warm, but uh, due to the current circumstances, I'm sheltering in Montreal, Canada. So there's a big difference in uh, temperature, believe me. Although Montreal is beautiful today, we're getting very nice warm weather, summer's here. Um, so I have the pleasure of, uh, of uh, traveling the southeast of the U.S., uh, normally, my responsibility is to go into schools, work with teachers for visually impaired, work with students, professionals, seniors also. So uh, we get the whole spectrum. Um, it's a great privilege. I, I can't wait to get back on the road, by the way. It's, <laughs> it's hard to be confined. And hopefully all this uh, new normal will uh, eventually resume to something more comfortable. I am visually impaired myself, so I have an eye condition called Lieber's Hereditary Optical Neuropathy, um, known as LHON. Uh, there's another Lieber's that's uh, amaurosis, but that's a different one. So my vision is, is very similar to macular degeneration, so uh, no usable central vision, very good peripheral, light sensitive, um, eye fatigue. So all the known conditions that come with, uh, with low vision. So I've been using all kinds of devices for the last 20 years. I remember my first CCTV was a uh, Pulse Data SmartView 8000, the Cadillac of CCTVs at the time. I was one of the fortunate ones. I had a color CCTV and a 19 inch CRT monitor, which is a pretty uh, big clunker. And it's, it's very impressive to see how technology you know, has evolved throughout the years and the trends have changed also. Um, in the last couple of years, we're seeing that portability is so crucial. And uh, as a user myself, I can attest to that because I travel a lot and I wouldn't want to carry that 50 pound CCTV with me as I'm, I'm traveling around. So definitely the smaller devices are, are very attractive. So when I read, normally I use uh, white on black. I, I prefer contrast, high contrast for me, that's amazing. And I see a lot of kids out there, a lot of users that, uh, that do appreciate the, the, the high contrasts. Um, I've realized throughout years that uh, eye fatigue comes really quick. Remember when I started losing my vision, I would read for hours on end, you know? And uh, then at the end of the day, I had the biggest headache in the world. And now I, 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 I'm more uh, careful. So I will read visually a lot because that's so important, especially when you want to assess the information. But I'll use speech. And uh, luckily, again, technology is there for us. Um, newer devices like the Connect 12 and the Reveal 69, they have speech built in. So you can read visually. And then when you need to just sit back and, 
and relax and concentrate on what you're reading rather than how you're reading. Uh, those, those new devices with speech makes our lives so much easier, much more comfortable. So, uh, so that's in a, in, in a, a few seconds, uh, what I do, uh, as a, as, as a, as a job and what I do in my personal life. And definitely as we go on, I'll probably give you more examples of folks I've met and how they use products and how it's beneficial to our attendees. Very, very good. Thank you very much, Samuel. So uh, before we start, I just want to uh, tell you that uh, next week on June 24th and the week after July 1st, uh, I am not going to be uh, broadcasting webinars. Those are uh, holidays in Canada and uh, Quebec, the province where I live. Although during those weeks, Peter and Andrew will have their webinars on Thursday. Uh, they live in the United States and England, so they are not going to be off. So you will have your blindness uh, webinars on Thursdays, but not Wednesdays. On my side, I will be back with Eric on July the 8th. So uh, the program for today, uh, we will be uh, uh, talking about uh, CCTVs, uh, how to evaluate portability, flexibility, and communication. So we already did a few webinars in the past weeks on the Reveal 16, 69, and the Connect 12. So I'm gonna take a few minutes today, maybe 20 minutes to show you uh, those units for those who had never seen it, so you know what we're talking about. And afterwards, we're gonna go into the, um, the questions on how to evaluate your needs. And we're gonna ask Sam to give us uh, some examples on the field on how it is actually used uh, on site by students, by professionals, by adults. So I'm gonna take advantage of uh, some today to have more uh, user case scenarios as we go. So let me plug my uh, other webcam so I can show you the Reveal 16i. Uh, the Reveal 16 and the Reveal 16i are have the same shape. The Reveal 16 is more simple, and the 16i has all the intelligence. So let me get close to my Reveal 16. So that's what it is. It's very light, very small, and it is uh, foldable. To open it, you just pull on it, pull on the screen, and then you have it right in front of you. Just want to make sure I have the right angle. Okay, let me turn it on. So you have Prodigy in there. Uh, so the unit is folded. It works with battery options, but uh, you can use uh, electricity as well. So you can bring it anywhere you want, outside, from class to class, anywhere in your house. It weighs 13 pounds, 13 pounds. So it can be brought in a shoulder strap bag or um, a rolling uh, suitcase. So I'm just gonna put the spotlight on my camera. So and if you, can, if you can just back up your webcam, uh, Natalie, it would be nice to see the, the whole picture. I just <laughs> wanted to mention a few things that I really like and comments that I hear. Uh, thank you, Natalie. Uh, comments that I hear about the Reveal 16 and 16i that people really like. Um, the fact that the device is super sturdy. So if you look at the build, it is solid. And we know, you know, if you're in schools, these devices are lugged around and they're, you know, brought from class to class. The sturdiness is so important. Um, to give you an example, the, the spring to be able to, to open the top there, it's, there is a resistance to it. But once it's deployed, there's no vibration. And that's really important. I remember I was once in a classroom where people would walk right, right next to the desk and the student was using a, another model, another device, and the vibration on the screen was driving the kid nuts. And then he tried the reveal and he said, wow, this is great because it was built in such a way, in sturdy way, that it resists uh, transportation and, and wear and tear. The other thing, Natalie, that I really like about this device is the screen adjustment. So right now I notice that your screen is adjusted mid-height, mid um, but that screen can be really lowered or raised. And so right now Natalie's raising it 
So for example, if you have a taller person or if you're working standing, you can raise it really high. And if you have a shorter person or a younger student, you can bring that screen all the way down almost and then put your hands around it and be able to move your document on the XY table. So the adjustment of the screen and the tilt on it, very, very impressive. Uh, maybe just a last comment, uh, Natalie, because we talk about portability. Um, you've probably seen other devices out there. One thing that we need when we're reading under a CCTV like this is a lot of space behind on the, on the, on the table and under the camera. And this one here, if you put a document on the table, you can push that document all the way up and you'll see the bottom of the page. So for a portable device, it's very versatile. It allows you to see the whole page on, on that table. So that's super important. And if you're writing or if you're doing performing a manual task, you still have, I think Natalie, correct me if I'm wrong, but there's, there's 13 inches, if I remember well, from the camera to the base, which is a lot. Yeah. So when, when I'm that. cooking, for example, I need that room, you know, I, I need to be able to see what I'm doing under it. And um, that's, that's super important. Sorry to interrupt. Yeah, no problem. That's great uh, information. Um, so to keep on uh, going, the battery life is five to six hours. So if you want a portability and uh, freedom uh, all day long, it lasts uh, five to six hours. So in uh, this unit, you have, if I go back here, you have uh, just a regular CCTV. You're able to see your documents underneath. And like Samuel was explaining, I'm just gonna show it here. You can write underneath and you have plenty of space to do so. I'm just gonna put the spotlight on my camera so it's bigger for people. <laughs> So there it is. Uh, you can zoom in and out as much as you want. It is something very simple. This is what is included in the Reveal 16, so the, the, the easy uh, version. You can have uh, contrast, change your contrast. And you can also have access to menus. If I press and hold here, you can have lines and blinds. You can enable your contrast, have preferences, zoom. I have to go that way. Uh, you display 60 Hertz if you're in uh, the Americas or 50 Hertz. And then you have uh, the version of your software. So that's all the things that you have accessed with the Reveal 16. You also have, if I go back, um, I go back that way. <laughs> Uh, you have a distance camera on the back. No, what's this Push one? the orange key once and it'll bring it back to the menu. Yeah, but I wanted to have my distance camera. Ah. So to have my distance camera, I only pull on the camera in the back. We're in our home office, so there's nothing much interesting in my house. But you have a distance camera that can be used at school uh, or outside to see uh, everything else you wanna have at a far distance. And then you can zoom also when you're on the distance camera. That camera is really uh, awesome when you're in a classroom setting, for example. Um, desks are smaller, so you put the device on the desk and then when you pop the camera up, it rotates left and right 170 degrees. So that means you don't have to move the whole device to be able to aim at the front of the classroom. Or for example, if a student's speaking, you can just rotate the camera and bring it lower or higher. So it's fully adjustable. And uh, kids love that because it allows them to, to see what's happening around them and to be able to zoom into the front of the classroom. And when they're done, they just pop the camera back down and it's back into the reading mode. Pretty awesome. Yes, thank you. Uh, so if I press here on my third button, uh, I go into the Reveal 16i, so all the intelligence uh, on it. This is the Prodigy uh, suite. So it is a suite that we showed you in a few webinars in the past Wednesdays. Uh, if you go on our uh, YouTube channel, so if you type Humanware YouTube, you're gonna have, uh, and you go into the playlist, you're gonna have a playlist that is called live webinar series for low vision. And you will have a few uh, demonstration 
of the Prodigy Suite. Uh, if you go into the playlist as well, you can have uh, little, little videos of about two minutes each showing you all the options that you find in uh, the Prodigy Suite. So one is the camera to capture what you have. So I am in, I am in capture mode. I can capture this uh, homework, math homework. I press on the camera here. I pressed for too long. <laughs> and it's gonna make a capture and I can save it and bring it into my gallery. And also when we capture it, uh, it, it creates OCR on it. So it, it recognizes the, the writing and it can be read to us. This is a math exam, That's may, that may not be a good example for OCR, but if I take a, a book or a novel, like here, just gonna go back to uh, capture another document. So this is a novel, I put it underneath. I can also do a multi-capture, so I will be able to capture more than one page of my book. So I capture it. It's going to be asking me to put the second page and it's going to, I'm going to be able to save it into my gallery. Place page two. Sure, I capture it. So I'm going to have the OCR and um, the, the pictures of the book into my gallery. So when I'm done, I can go straight into my gallery. It is saved there and I see it. If I tap on it, I took a wrong, I took a page that was not good because it was uh, hand, handwritten. <laughs> so the, the OCR is not uh, good. Yeah, handwriting is often a question that comes up, you know, people say, hey, are we going to have that eventually? And uh, I know that there are some libraries that allow to, to read handwriting, but unfortunately at the time being, there's so many mistakes that it's not really worth it. So, so this device really captures text and then renders that text into uh, Diamond Edge. So definitely very good for printed text, but not for handwriting. Mm -hmm. So you gotta go visually if you wanna read the handwriting. And believe yeah. me, you'll never be able to read mine. <laughs> <laughs> so I took the next page, which, which is uh, typed, so I can have it read to me. I'm sorry. I'm just going to have to put my speech on. Speech menu. Three Documents. items. Checked. So let's go back. To do is gather the ingredients. But first I have to make sure Maggie's safe. So I scanned the book. I brought it into my uh, gallery and it can read it. I can also use annotation. Uh, annot I'm sorry. Tap. <laughs> I can use annotations. For, with pencil, markers, and text. A few um, comments, uh, Natalie, just before you yes. go on there. Uh, one thing that I like to demonstrate when I show this product, and I use this every day, so basically this is my tool. Um, I often capture my pages upside down. I'm clumsy that way. You know, you're low vision, you can't see the page, so you just put it under there, and then you press the capture button. The nice thing about the Reveal 16 and the Connect 12, uh, Reveal 16i and Connect 12 is that they, they recognize that the page is upside down and will rotate it for you. So that's pretty cool. Um, if you're capturing several pages and you're not paying attention to what you're doing, it's going to take you 30 seconds, 45 seconds to capture all your pages. If you put one upside down, it doesn't matter. It'll change it around for you. And the other thing that I like, and I've noticed that you use uh, black on white, and that's your preferred setting. Uh, you also had column mode, but it remembers what are the perfect settings for you. So mine, for example, every time I capture a page, it's always going to be white on black. It's always going to give me my perfect magnification. I've selected the voice and it remembers that. So no matter what you capture, if it's a 12 point font or a eight point font, it'll come up in the size that you like with the colors that you prefer. So once the setup is done, the customization, you're done. You don't have to touch it anymore. And it'll remember that. So it's pretty, uh, pretty advanced. Yes, thank you, Samuel. You're welcome. 
So I'm going to show you a few uh, a few uh, features on the Reveal 16. The Prodigy Suite is also available on the Connect 12, which we're going to look in a few minutes. So we looked at the camera, the gallery, the settings. Samuel was talking about the settings. So in user interface, you have a lot of preferred settings. You have the interface for your carousel. So if you want it very large or in a tie mode, you have the language. You can select your preferred language. Uh, we uh, have 20 languages. And uh, in each languages, there are, there are female voice, male voice, and we have a few accents. Like for English, we have uh, United States, Australia, and um, United Kingdom. So you have uh, accents that are easy to uh, understand for you. For your color schemes, we have, again, 20 color schemes. So you can choose your preferred color scheme. It is possible to have your preferred color scheme on your navigation and then another color scheme in your readings. Because some people like to have the, the big icons in different colors, but when they read, like Samuel, <laughs> they like it white on black, but it's only when they read because it takes a lot of energy when you have low vision. Uh, you can have the locators, the brightness. You can lower your uh, screen brightness or have it higher. And your button banner can move by themselves. So I'm going to show you uh, the Connect 12 and keep on introducing you uh, the, uh, the features available in the Prodigy Suite. So let me move my camera. That's a nice thing about portable devices. You know, you can move them around. There's, there's all, actually, it's running on the battery, so you don't need to unplug it and pick up the power cord. You just press the power button, fold it down, move on to the next location. That uh, transportability is, is awesome. It's amazing. Yeah. So this is the Connect 12. It is a 12-inch screen. It is much smaller. It's a tablet. So let me put it on my table. To open it, you put your fingers in front, you pull on the handle, and then you pull on your screen. Let me bring it a little bit closer so you see the, cam the tablet. So if I turn it on, you see that we have the same suite, magnifier, gallery, settings, help. Uh, the help is interesting because it brings you to our YouTube tutorials and it allows you to uh, give us feedbacks. We use uh, the feedbacks to improve our units or to make different products. So let me go to the dist. Oh, I don't, <laughs> I didn't bring my distance camera. Uh, yes. That's the pleasure <laughs> no, no, of having no. wireless cameras. <laughs> yes. <laughs> My camera, my home office is not too big, so cool. <laughs> it was handy. I can put it on the top right here. And this is a wireless uh, camera that works with Wi-Fi. And I, I'm going to see if I connected it, because I know I connected. We are only allowed to have one Wi-Fi uh, access, so I know I connected my Bookshare application. So, yeah, that's what it says. The camera is not. I don't want to put my camera on access because I want to show you the book share, but it's also used uh, at school uh, for students to see the board. And since, it, since it's a um, Wi-Fi camera, sometimes the students are very young and they cannot manage to place their own camera in the right spot. So the teacher brings it in front of the class and the teacher um, moves the camera in order for the student to see uh, at the right place at the right time. One <laughs> comment the about the, uh, the, the distance camera that often I get when I'm, when I'm out there is that people say, oh, it's, it's wireless, so how does it work? And the answer to that is it's using the Wi-Fi radio from the tablet. So automatically people say Wi-Fi, that means you need to be connected to the internet. And the answer is no, this unit is standalone. So they communicate through that channel and that's, how, that's what makes it wireless, but you, you're not required to use internet 
with either the Reveal 16i or the Connect 12. On the other hand, if you are connected to the internet and you decide to go into distance viewing, the tablet's smart enough, it's gonna do the work for you. It's gonna toggle to the camera, allow you to see things at a distance, and when you exit the distance application, it goes back to the internet. So that's all done in the background in the, in the uh, Prodigy Suite software. So quite intuitive and uh, nothing too complicated, it's very simple. Very good. Uh, before I go into the Bookshare application, I just want to tell you that this is uh, a battery. This is a tablet that works with batteries. I have a charger so I can uh, work on electricity as well. Uh, it is very thin, very small. It can, it can be carried in a school bag, just a regular school bag uh, with the books for the student. And it weighs 4.3 pounds. Uh, the battery lasts about uh, seven hours. And if you use the LEDs uh, to, uh, for close magnification, it lasts about four hours. So let me show you very fast the same math exam underneath. So I can have access to the same functionality to, to capture it, or I can just write underneath uh, right away with my hand and if i capture it i bring it into the gallery like i just did before so let's go into the book option so to be connected to the internet uh, for that application i need a wi-fi um, so in the library we have access to search book browse book or periodical the way we search for books is uh, by title, author, category, or, car or content. So we can write our title here and download any books available on Bookshare. They do have 400,000 books, so the choice is good. If I go into my library, just to show you how it works, those are the magazines and books I downloaded. And since uh, April, when we uh, read a book in full page, we have access to the images. Oh, Sam, you'll be happy. <laughs> <laughs> Last time I read my book, I set it up uh, white on black. Thank <laughs> so you. So here's my text. And I have access to the pictures uh, as well throughout the, pictures the entire are, books. The pictures are in true color though, right? Yeah. And that's, again, some of the intelligence built into the Prodigy software. Either you capture a page that has pictures or you read a book, the text will come in your preferred contrast, which is white on black, but your pictures are not inverted. Most CCTVs will give you white on black everywhere. And looking at a picture that's inverted is not always very interesting. So I, I love that aspect and kids love that too. Yeah. So like I just told you before, you can have a preferred choice for your navigation and a preferred choice for your reading. I forgot, but uh, last uh, yesterday, I was talking to somebody who wanted to test uh, white on black, so that's why I changed it. But it's easy to change back the contrast again. So the default contrast or the white on black. And either way, I can have it read to me on this I know it is as well. And the sun is not sunny. So. Okay, so that will be for the books. Uh, we have a nice calculator. Uh, easy to do some math with nice big numbers that we do. And if, uh, yeah, so that's the calculator. And we have two new uh, options available since April, the quick access and the apps. So uh, both are uh, there to manage apps. So if I tap on it, I can have access, uh, fast access to all the apps that I have uh, downloaded in my um, uh, tablet. So let's say classroom. I tap on it. I'm brought to my classroom. Here it is, Peter26 classroom. Peter is my colleague, so he made up a classroom. I can have access that way, which is very fast. If I want to go back to Prodigy, I press on the circle at the bottom and the middle. 
So I am brought back to Prodigy. For the apps that I use quite often, I can uh, have them in my quick access. So if I tap here, I can add some, um, some apps right there that I use often. So I often use Chrome. Let's have it here. So next time you see that I tap on my quick access, I tap on Chrome and I will be brought to Chrome right away. So those are new uh, applications since uh, April. And that is about it for uh, the demo of the Connect 12. Uh, um, Samuel, do we have any questions in the Q&A or? Uh, we don't. We don't. don't. You're doing a really good job. So no <laughs> one has any questions, but if you do, please feel free to tap it in Q&A and I'll, I'll read them. Okay, so we are going to start a chat uh, with uh, Samuel. So the purpose of this uh, webinar today was to help you choose a, on the CCTV regarding the, your needs for portability, flexibility, and communication. So let me stop sharing my screen and cancel spotlight. So we're both on the screen, Samuel. <laughs> So when you need to choose a CCTV, uh, you do need to, uh, to evaluate your needs for portability. So we say portability or transportability. Mm -hmm. We've seen a big difference between uh, the Connect 12, which is portable, and the Reveal 16i. Samuel, I want to ask you, for a high school student or college student, what uh, unit do you see that is the most popular when they have a need for portability? A good question. And, and you know, it's always very specific to the user. That's why there's options, right? So some of them will say, I need something super portable that I can throw in my backpack and carry with me. So obviously the Connect 12 is very attractive to them. Um, it's, it's very light. Uh, although it comes with a carrying case that's like a laptop style, most of the students that I see in high schools and colleges, they don't use it. They just throw it in their backpack and it feels like a laptop. And then when they get in their classroom, they just deploy it within a, a few seconds and they're ready to go. And it looks so cool. So the Connect 12, I would say, is one of the most popular devices with the, with the older kids. Um, the portability makes it great, 4.3 pounds. It's a no-brainer because you can just carry it wherever you go. And I will say it's, it's also one of my favorites. So like I said, right now I'm in Montreal. I had to travel. I would be reluctant to carry a 13-pound device with me on a plane or, you know, where I'm going. Although it can be done, it's much easier to carry the Connect 12 and you have access to all the, the same applications. Another thing that kids really like about the tablet, and I have mine here, you notice mine's out of the stand. So, so basically, when I use when I use my device, it's it's in my hand, and I'm I can read. And when I'm done with it, I, it's it's really just a tablet. So I, I I put it aside. So quite often, I'll see students that will capture 50 pages, and then they'll remove the tablet, sit in the couch, and enjoy reading with or without speech, regardless of what they're requiring but just holding a tablet in their hand, having access to a single column. Um, some of them will use wireless earbuds or there's a, an audio jack on the tablet also so you can connect it and read very uh, quietly. So the, the Connect 12 is really one of those, those very popular devices. And when you get students that have a more severe vision loss, they're gonna require a larger screen. So at that time, then they'll move on to the Reveal 16. 16 inches is a very comfortable screen. Um, easier for them also to, to work on, on a, a larger screen that has a lot of space under it also. So it's, it's really from one student to the next, but I'd say Connect 12 is one of the most popular ones for sure. For students, and I know you're visiting uh, seniors in their house because they need to have uh, a portable CCTV to bring within their house either in the living room, in yeah. the kitchen for cooking, uh, and they have different needs. So for seniors in their house, what have you seen uh, that is popular? 
Uh, again, good question. The, the fact that seniors are more independent and autonomous nowadays, they do travel. So some of them will select the Connect 12 because for them it's a great form factor. Most of them will go towards the Reveal. Uh, the reveal is uh, very transportable. So if I remember I was in the, in one of the, our seniors in Florida purchased a reveal 16 and her requirement was I need to be able to go from the, from my, my office to the kitchen to be able to, to perform manual tasks and to be able to read wherever I feel like reading. If I want to go on the, on the porch and I want to read on the porch, then uh, for her, the, the reveal 16 was perfect. And this particular user selected the Reveal 16 and not the 16i. Um, for her, it wasn't important to have speech. She just needed a good magnifier that was uh, solid enough that she could just deploy very quickly and move around and perform her, her kitchen duties and, and cooking and measuring and reading ingredients and recipes and so on and be able to bring it with her in another room. Um, other seniors that I see, they, they really want speech because they're avid readers. So they're going to either download a book or they're going to receive a book by, uh, by email and they're more technical. So they'll take it and then they'll, they'll bring it into Prodigy and have speech read to them. And they enjoy being able to see what's on the screen and hear it at the same time in their preferred colors and contrasts and voices. So, you know, Reveal 16 is uh, definitely more of a, a solution for, for seniors. Um, by experience. Okay, for their portability. And before also for students, uh, you talk about their needs for uh, portability, but maybe, uh, I'm not sure you didn't think, you didn't talk about the strength of the students, because we have very young yeah. students, kindergarten, grade one, right. and then we have older students uh, going to high school, college, and university. Yeah. So is there a difference for their independence and uh, their strength? There is. So, you know, if the, if the student is younger, obviously a 13 pound device might not be a good solution, although it might be their choice of preference. And I do see kids that will lug it around in, in their classrooms and that's fine because uh, it's, it depends on what they're looking for. But again, the Connect 12 is so portable for the younger kids. It's, uh, it's the perfect tool. I remember once I was in Nashville, Tennessee, and uh, we were in a school. There's a seven year old uh, boy that had a recent vision loss and he was quite refusing any piece of technology because assistive technology sometimes it's it makes you stand out right and kids don't like that and um, then I sat next to him and I showed him my connect 12 and I explained to him how here's how I read print documents here's how I fill my forms and here's how I do distance viewing so you can imagine seeing your teacher in the classroom and your peers and the boy was amazing. I mean, he just folded it down and picked up the, the Prodigy Connect and then started walking towards his classroom. And then, so we, we followed the teacher for visual impaired was with us. We went into the classroom and the teacher said, okay, what's happening here? He sat at the back of the classroom and deployed his Connect 12. And then he started aiming the camera to his, his teacher in the front of the classroom and reading on the board and answering questions. And the teacher for visually impaired was, you know, tears in her eyes because the kid was at last, you know, living this experience of being able to do the same thing that all the other kids were doing in the classroom in a very portable way. And technology for kids is not an issue. So for them, you know, you show them pinch and zoom and tap and they're done. In five minutes, they'll show you how it works. So it's, it's pretty awesome. So Connect 12 is a, a very attractive device for younger kids. Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so we talked we talked about bringing the um, the CCTV from class to class or inside the house from room to room. Uh, what about the students or uh, adults that need to carry it from school to home or uh, school to or home to the office? Do they have preferred choice? Um, it's either or. It really depends on what they're looking for. I've seen high school kids that had the Reveal 16. They were happy with it. They preferred the, uh, the camera for distance viewing. Others like the Connect 12. You know, the nice thing about this is you have options. Um, all of our devices are battery powered. They all last at least one day of work, which is awesome. So you charge it, you know, overnight and then you pick it up in the morning. You're ready to go. Um, both of them have distance viewing also. So that makes it really useful for them. They're in the classroom, they can read, they can perform their tasks at their desk, either writing, capturing, reading, and then just by the tap of one button, distance viewing. So Connect 12 or Reveal 16, 16i are really good options. And uh, then it's just a matter of weight, form factor, screen size, um, uh, 
those are elements that are, are key elements that will definitely make make uh, in such a way that the student will choose either or. Very good. So I think we covered all the needs uh, for portability. If uh, you guys have any questions, we are uh, taking care of the chat and the Q&A. Uh, before we jump to flexibility, we have a questions regarding uh, text-to-speech uh, yes. callback. Yes. yes, so I can show it with my uh, camera. I still, it's still on. It's very easy to do. And after that, we're going to go back to our questions on flexibility. So to have access to text-to-speech, uh, you have to go into Android. So you use four or five finger, press and hold. Into the um, Android, you go into your settings. Closer. And you will have um, accessibility. accessibility here. So you tap on accessibility. And then you have talk backs, talk back that you can put on. But in this section, you have all accessibility features that you can use and have uh, in your Android. So when you're outside of Prodigy, you still have on Android all kinds of accessibility uh, regarding talk backs. You have Braille back also if you have um, a Braille display. So you can use uh, any of those uh, accessibility features. And that's a really cool question. I always appreciate to hear that because, you know, for years I've been going into schools and, you know, rehab agencies and talking to seniors. And when you're talking about a CCTV, it's on off, zoom in, zoom out, color contrast, possibly distance viewing. Um, and with our smart devices, we push that way further. Now we get all kinds of questions about apps and, speech and so on because the the fact that both devices are running on Android in the background opens a lot of doors so if you have a student for example that has different needs we're talking about talkback so it's possibly speech in Android reading emails and going on the web and browsing with speech so, so that accessibility is there which you don't have on a regular CCTV and apps so for example if there's an app that you you need to use for your classroom or for your work or Outlook email, PowerPoint presentation, you can download that app and then have it directly on that device. So it makes it, makes it in such a way that for, for professionals and students, it pushes the, the limits way further because you don't just have a magnifier, you also have a smart magnifier that has all the bells and whistles for, for vision requirements, but also for your, uh, your work or your, your schooling. So love that talk back question. Uh, there's a question also about keyboards. So we showed it in uh, a few of our uh, other webinars. We have a wireless keyboard that is uh, um, that you can use with the Connect 12. And with the Reveal 16 High, you can also use this keyboard, but you have a USB port on the side, which allows you to uh, use a regular keyboard. Totally wireless, that's awesome. Uh, battery lasts a super long time on our keyboards. The high contrasts are nice. The tactile is very nice also on that keyboard. And uh, actually, since we're running Android, basically any keyboard would work, but we have a very nice accessible keyboard and it has specific keys on it that you can use within Prodigy. So for example, if you wanna hit the back button, you've got that key on that keyboard. So it was designed or customized to fit with the Reveal 16i or the Connect 12. Okay, so let's go back to the program. <laughs> yeah. You wanted to talk about flexibility. So I have a few questions. Uh, you see kids and uh, seniors doing crafts. <laughs> yes. What do they like, the Reveal 16 or the Connect 12? <laughs> Again, a bit of both, but most likely the Reveal 16. Uh, you remember at the beginning of this webinar, we talked about the, some of the nice features of a foldable device having a lot of room under the camera. So the Reveal 16 has that 12, 13 inches behind that you can you know, perform a manual task um, using scissors, for example, or coloring or using paint brushes. So there's a lot of room there. And that, uh, that makes it super efficient for, for kids that are doing uh, something that's very manual. But believe me, it's not just kids. I peel potatoes with this thing. I mean, I do all kinds of stuff. But if you're stuck and you need to put something and magnify it, and I, I know some people will laugh at this, but once I tied a knot in my shoe and I couldn't take it apart, well, that's a huge limitation, right? How, how are you going to do it? I can ask for help, 
or I can do it myself. So I'll turn the reveal 16, put my shoe under it, and just magnify it the right place and be able to untie my knot. So simple things, but if you have the right tool, it, it, it works good. What I found also for uh, crafts, when you have a very big canva or, or something very big yeah. and you put it under the reveal 69, the buttons are on the screen at the top. Correct. Some other models have, have the buttons at uh, the buttons uh, on the desk. So it's hidden with your crafts. Yeah. The other so, thing also that we, we didn't mention earlier, but we talked about the screen, how it can go super low or very high, but it can also swivel so that if you're standing and you're doing something under the camera you can still see exactly in direct line what's happening so when i'm when i'm working or doing something manual i like to i don't want to have to sit down i want to be able to stand up if i want to and just change the angle of the monitor do my thing and then bring it back to where it was very good so for professionals now people working in the office uh, uh, they, you, they may have HDMI uh, cables and wire the computer to their uh, device. What have you seen? Yes, um, professionals. Well, I'm one of those, so I'm kind of biased. But um, I like portability, and I like connectivity, and I like wireless. <laughs> so those are all things that point to the same direction. Connect 12 is really one of those that's super portable. If you have to go from one office to the next, or if you have to travel between your office and your home and then your clients, one device that can do it all. But what really brings it to a next level is the fact that you can add applications. So it's not all work, right? And I even say this to kids in, in, in school, it's not all work. You, you have to work, you have to do your things, but why not listen to music? So you download Spotify, listen to music on it. And you can do that on the Connect 12 or the Reveal 16i. Um, you can check your Facebook. So it's the professionals appreciate these devices because of their connectivity, their portability, their advanced features, being able to use speech and reduce your eye fatigue. So all that is super important, but throw on top of that the other apps that are required today. And we know there's a lot of them out there. So having access to Google Play Store, downloading the app that you need, um, professionals will, will love that. And um, professionals also like the tablet. So for example, if I have a presentation to do before a group, um, possibly the Reveal 16i would, would work well, um, but it's, it doesn't attract as much attention if you're just holding a tablet in your hand and on a document that you've captured previously or a PowerPoint presentation that you built and that's synchronized to your tablet. So both devices are great. Connect 12 would definitely be a great option. And I just want to uh, tell that the DHDME uh, output on uh, our unit is an output. So we have a question about the Chromecast. So it's yeah. not going in the uh, iPad. It's what we have on the Connect 12 or the Reveal 16 that is going out with uh, so That HDMI cable is, is really useful. Every one of the humanware low vision products have the HDMI connectivity. And on the Connect 12, for example, if you connect it to that port and you put it to a larger screen TV, so let's say you have a 32-inch screen at your home office, whatever you've seen on that 12-inch screen will be displayed on the 32-inch screen. So it gives you lots more uh, flexibility for a larger screen. But it is an output, as you mentioned. It allows you to take the picture that's there or whatever image that you're magnifying or document that you're reading or app that you're using to a larger screen. Okay, very good. So on the flexibility, we also have to keep in mind the distance camera. I think we've covered it uh, enough uh, earlier. It's flexible uh, also that the fact that you don't need to use it with the Connect 12. I mean, kids go in the classroom, they'll probably use the Connect 12 without the distance camera for most part of what they're doing. And then when they need to see what's happening in the front of the class, they'll just pop it in, magnify when they're done, back in the backpack. So very okay. flexible. Okay. So on the needs of uh, kids and adults, uh, sometimes they have glossy magazines uh, or glossy kids books. So our uh, LEDs are polarized. Uh, it is very good, so there are no reflection uh, on the books when you are uh, using our units. And uh, I showed the uh, last week. I showed my setting. I do demos here, and I'm right in front of, of a window as well. So our uh, lenses and LEDs are polarized. That gives a very good quality uh, of what you're uh, uh, magnifying underneath your units. 
Hot um, tips are terrible. If you're reading a glossy document and all you can, you're already visually impaired, right? You don't want to have defects on what you're magnifying. If there's a hot spot right in the middle of the picture you're looking at, then you got to move your document and so on. But our products are super well designed. The calibration of the camera, the polarization, the LEDs are, are designed to not put any additional glare and actually to remove the glare that's naturally comes from lighting. So very, very well designed. Yeah. So talking about flexibility, uh, we talked about keyboards. We have a calculator. Uh, the calculator is in the Reveal 16i as well. I didn't show you, but it's yeah. uh, in the Prodigy suite. It looks like you have something to say, Samuel. I know. I was going <laughs> to say, you know, <laughs> calculators are hard to find nowadays with larger digits. So if you can have one built into your device, that's one less thing to carry around. On top of it, it's a scientific calculator, right? So it's pretty smart. And it's with speech or without whatever suits you best. So if you have a severe low vision student that needs speech to be able to read the results or hear the results, that's there also. Okay, very good. So uh, we have uh, split screens. So as Samuel was saying, you can do your homework, split screen and look at the teacher's explanation on the board. And you also have uh, access to OCR. When you uh, capture your documents, it uh, does an OCR on it. And all the flexibility of the OCR is available. With our units, you can enlarge up to about 24 times. But with the OCR, you can enlarge up to 80 times. So you can have a great uh, text. That's a pretty technical term. I know a lot of people will say, what's OCR? It's optical character recognition. But, uh, you know, the, the, the Prodigy devices have that built in. You don't even need to know what it does, you know. It's just there. When you push the capture key, it takes the print and transforms it into text. And that's what the magic behind the software. And on top of it, we keep the same layout as your page. So sometimes it's important to keep that layout on your page and at least having your right color contrast supplied on that document. So. The, the diamond edge, that's how we, we trademarked it at Humanware. Thank you. So uh, for flexibility, you also have access to a lot of types of uh, documents. You have a PDF you can uh, capture. You can import and export also uh, from a USB key with Google Drive, Classroom, uh, anyone. So someone in the Q&A asked me to uh, show how you can annotate yes. on uh, the Connect 12 so I can do it very easily. Let me just give you my camera. So this is a um, map problem, a math exam. So if I tap on it, I can annotate it. Like here we have a, a weird shape that I have to calculate the area. So if I take my pen, I'm sorry, it was at the right pen already. Uh, so I can do two uh, rectangle in order to uh, calculate it. And I can write my answer Besides it, I can use my finger. I can use a stylus here. There's a stylus. And I can also use text. If I tap again, I have a text and I can use my uh, keyboard. So tap and hold. Tap and hold. And yeah. type. Yeah. So that, that, that. I use my uh, airplane here, send it. So I have it right here on the text. So it's easy to annotate with markers and can also erase it. If it's not what I wanted to write, I can erase it. So it's very easy uh, to use. You can work uh, with a paperless um, format or you can work with your sheet underneath uh, your Connect 12. And that's all automatically saved. So when you go in the gallery, yeah. then you can take that document, either one page or 20 pages that have been annotated and then share it as a PDF by email. So, wow, that, you know, paperless is everything, right? Yeah. So you can render your homework right away to your teacher uh, by sending it them by email. So the next morning when people uh, in the class have their sheets, they can give it to the teacher. But for you, you're already... Uh, gave in your homework the night before, as soon as you finished it. 
So I think we covered flexibility. Let's take a, two minutes on communication. <laughs> so communication is what you have on the Reveal 16i and uh, the Connect 12, and you don't have on your the Reveal 16. So the, connect, the, the communication and connectivity is for you to share uh, documents using Google Classroom. It's uh, what uh, allows you to go on uh, Zoom, Skype, when we do big demos, big presentation, we put Zoom on our Connect 12 and uh, we invite our Connect 12 on a meeting with us as a panelist and we share the screen. So uh, it is a way to have uh, Zoom on your uh, computer. So for communication, what is the big needs that you see in school and uh, with uh, adults, Sam? Um, the primary communication that's most popular is email. So, you know, being able to read your emails, being able to send them. And uh, I see a lot of teachers, for example, that will email their students the homework in a PDF format. And then the students will open that and connect, will annotate it, will document it, will edit it, and then will send it back to the teacher by, by email. So obviously that's one of the most popular ones. Uh, Google Classroom is one of that you've spoken of, and I know that's very popular in many schools. So Canvas, whatever cloud storage system that you use uh, will definitely be popular. Um, talking about cloud storage, I'm a fan of Dropbox. I mean, for me, Dropbox is like a lifesaver because I'll be, you know, visually impaired individuals use several tools. You will work on a computer with a, a screen magnifier, and then you will use a tablet. You will use your phone. You will use optical lenses. So if I edit a document on my laptop, and I save it to Dropbox, then it's automatically synced to my Prodigy tablet or my Reveal 16i. And then I can pull that same document, add something else, and then it saves it automatically again, then I can share it with folks. So the, the communication is really unlimited. It just depends on how you want to use it and what you need to do. And it sounds very complex, but it isn't that complicated. It's just a matter of setting it up and then finding that recipe that works for you and and then you can uh, you can build on that yeah so regarding uh, connectivity and communication we have a question in the qa yeah. q a somebody's asking if we can connect a smart board with uh, the hdme so uh, the answer is that uh, you can connect your connect 12 to something uh, so we said the the hdmi we have is an output so yeah. what's on your on your connect 12 will be um, on the board or on a tv screen for the opposite if you want to have the smart board on your connect 12 which is probably what you mean if you are a tvi uh, you can use the distance camera to have it or you can use other applications uh, available on android yeah. uh, we did uh, have presentation on connectivity maybe you can find them uh, on our youtube channel yeah, the secret is you have to connect to the laptop or the, the smart device is connected to the smart TV. So smart TV is basically just a screen, a display. You need to connect with the either the Reveal 16i or the Connect 12 to that computer. And whatever shows on the smart TV will also be displayed using an application in Android. So it works. Thank you. So we have a, a minute left. Maybe we can look at two or three uh, questions uh, sure. on uh, the chat. We somebody's asking us about the cost. I know we have people from about around the world on this webcast. So if you go on a website and you select your language or your country, you can find the costs of all of our product uh, in your uh, currency. Uh, maybe one or two last question uh, for uh, communication and accessibility. Uh, you have access to Android, so for students and uh, people at home, you have all access to all the apps uh, that are available in the Google Play Store. So it's a good uh, communication tool. There are a lot of apps, believe me. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so the communication that those units allows you to have uh, will uh, be enjoyed by your friends and family because you'll be able to uh, speak to them. So I think we uh, covered <laughs> pretty much what we wanted to cover today. So thank you very much, Samuel, for uh, 
helping me today. It was a very nice discussion. And thanks everyone. So remember for the next two weeks, I'm not going to be there. But on Thursday, uh, Peter and Andrew will be there. And I will be back uh, probably with Eric on uh, July the 8th. So thank you very much. Thanks everyone. Thank you, Natalie. Thank you. Bye. Bye.